Hi, my name is Yannick Tremblay. I'm a private ice hockey coach. Today, I want to talk about ankle flexion and, um, and, and why is because a lot of times people come to me and tell me about this player that has, uh, that should work on his stride length and stride recovery and his posture and, and, um, and nobody really uh, looks into what the player can or can't do. So um, ankle flexion is, is one of the things that will dictate posture and skate mechanics skating mechanics for the player. Um, so it's important to know about it, uh, to look for uh, the signs that will give you clues uh, about, you know, what the player can do as far as his mobility, his range of motion, his uh, stability. Um, so um, so today I'm just going to show quickly what I see uh, in some of the, you know, the differences between uh, some a player that has really good uh, ankle flexion and one that doesn't. So what I'm looking for is really this. Uh, let's get let's get this here. So if you tell a player to bend his knees while he's skating, so this guy here almost has 90 degrees bend with his knees. So the ankle is right here, and this is 90 degree knee bend. But uh, the thing that is really important is that the ankle the the uh, the where he can bring his knees compared to his toes that's the angle i'm i'm looking for so that's the ankle flexion um so for a player that has really good range of motion he's going to be able to keep his weight so going so going uh from uh straight up to 90 degree knee bend his weight is going to stay pretty much uh you know on on top of his feet. So uh, it doesn't have to change much. He can really control where his center of mass is because he's got the range of motion to do it with his ankles. Um, now, somebody who, let's get rid of that. So somebody who doesn't have as much range of motion um, will not be able, will not be able to send his weight exactly the same way. Um, so his center of mass is not going to be uh, going the same at the same spot. So if you ask a guy that doesn't have really good ankle flexion, so this guy here, so really limited, that's exaggerated, I understand, but this is really limited ankle flexion. So the knee compared to the toes, it's quite different. Now, if you ask a player like this, so young player, older player, it really doesn't matter. 90 degree knee bend, you should you know, bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. This is what happens. So 90 degree knee bend with no ankle flexion. So now the weight, the center of mass of the, of the player is way back here. And this, yeah, everybody knows, this would not be possible on the ice. So, um, so the point is that, you know, every player has his own way of skating because of his limitations and his capacity. So 90, 90 degrees, it's even more. Uh, so it's really important to know the difference and to know what those limitations are uh, because you'll have two different skating mechanics. You'll, you'll have to deal with, uh, you know, two different ways of standing. So, you know, you can see here, that's 90 degrees. Whoops, drawing skills. All right, so about 90 degrees. Um, and this is the angle that the player can can get. His knee is way up here, and center of mass is on top of the, almost on top of the feet. And for the other player, so let's get another color. So for the other player, then you have this right here. This is the ankle flexion. This is knee bend and this is the center of mass so really two different two different spots um so now um doesn't matter if a player is uh standing up or standing more straight up or or not well it really depends can you improve on the mobility and get perfect uh perfect te technique uh well mobility is hard to improve so range of motion is hard and it takes a long time. So it's not impossible. 
players do it. Uh, you can always improve on a lot of things, uh, but it will take a long time. If the player is on the ice to improve his game and his skating, then you can't improve his range of motion at that moment. You have to deal with it. So by knowing, by knowing what the player can do and can't do, then um, then you're not going to work on something that is not is not possible physically or is not possible mechanically for the player. So, so a player that has good ankle flexion might stand this way. Um, there, there are other factors that will dictate um, uh, posture and mechanics, such as um, the perception of balance, uh, the range that you know the other segments will will have. Uh, the swing of you know the 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 upper body and and the control the motor control that the player has so there's going to be a lot of factors that come into play but ankle flexion will have a direct effect on what the player where the can, player can send his weight a center of mass and where he can't send it so now uh, the beauty of hockey is that nobody cares how you skate how you skate um, th we only care about results. So if you can still skate, well, skate whichever way you want. Now it's going to be two different mechanics. Um, so a player that has to go, that doesn't have really good ankle flexion, will still skate during the game. He'll find another way to skate. So another type of posture, he might bend his upper body forward like this, so that his, so if you look at his center of mass now, so players like this, 90 degree bend. This is his ankle flexion. So he still doesn't have as much as the other player, but his center of mass now is more centered. So he'll, he will have to skate a different way. Uh, he might use longer strides uh, because of this posture here is going to allow him to uh, create maybe more power or more... It depends on uh, on each player. It's going to be different, but it will have different effects on what the player can and can't do. So, um, so other strategies that these guys might have. So, um, just standing more straight up and keeping the weight, keeping the weight on top of the feet by just not bending the knees as much. So, for the coach, uh, for when, when you're working with a player, just to tell him to bend his knees because it's good for him might not be the right, um, uh, might not be true for everyone. Um, so knowing about what the player can do as far as uh, his range of motion with uh, his ankles um, is really important. Um, and it will change the way that you approach each exercise it's not like the player doesn't want to bend his knees more. He's just going to find ways that might not be beneficial for him. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's going to be working against the player to, to try to do that, to, to, to bend his knees more. So uh, be aware of that. Be, be uh, you know, just observe it. Uh, you can ask a player to do, a, you know, just a simple squat and you'll see right away where he sends his, his weight and, and from then on, you have a good idea of what the player, um, uh, why a player will use a certain posture and certain skating mechanics compared to the guy next to him where it's completely different. So some players might be similar, uh, but, you know, this has a lot to do with, uh, with posture and mechanics. So, um, so that's it. Thank you and see you next time.